Hi everyone, it's Liam here from biggerplate.com. I've been asked by our friends at Mind Manager to share some ideas about the ways mind mapping and visualization techniques could be used by professionals in sales and account management roles. So let's take a look. So hopefully after your sales planning and your client discovery session, you move through to close that sale and now it's into account management mode and looking after that client and hoping to build on those opportunities. So the purpose in this stage is really about managing multiple accounts. Very few of us normally get to manage just one uh, account. And even if we do just have one big account, there are always multiple projects within that account. So what we need is a really clear central area to get our priorities and plans clear at any given time. The benefits again of using mind mapping software for something like this are the connected view of both the macro high level picture and the micro details and next actions. Importantly using software means you can also pull all of the key information you need together so you've got everything right at your fingertips whenever you need it. So let's take a look at how an account management dashboard map might look. So here's an example of an account manager dashboard map. Now in this map, I've created a space both for prospects and my key accounts. So the prospects are those ones that we've been working on already, those that we're trying to move through to become customers. Now what I've done here in the My Map is I've captured each one of those company names and I've also used those priority markers again to signify which of those are the most important prospects at the moment. So for example, Bravo Co is my priority one prospect. Now in the dashboard map, what I've done then is use some of those other features that we used before. So I've connected here to my sales plan. So if I click that link, I'm going to go straight through to that sales planning map that we were using earlier to decide how best to approach that uh, prospect. If I come back to my dashboard map again, what I've also got now is a really simple area to show me my next steps. Now, this might be extracted from a sales uh, pipeline plan or another map or wherever, but this is my dashboard for myself. And this is really where I want to just keep all of the key information that I think I need to keep track of. So I've got a task here to complete this RFP for, for Bravo Co. I can see with this completion icon that it hasn't been started yet. I've got some deadline information here and I can see that it's uh, assigned to me. And again, we've used that hyperlink function to link through to the document that I need to complete in order to move this prospect along. So I've replicated that sort of approach for each of these prospects. I link away to their sales plan and I've got a next step uh, action, whatever it might be, a call with Brian, a date and people assigned. So you see how this mind map dashboard starts to be my kind of next steps area for all of these prospects. So with the same logic being applied to the key accounts, I've got a prioritized list of my key accounts, people, organizations who've already purchased from us and where we've got projects already underway. So once again, I've used this prioritization icon to show which ones are most important right now for whatever reason. And then if I open those up, I've got what project have we got underway? I've got an area for key documents and information, including, for example, down here, a key document was that discovery map that I put together with that client on the 5th of September. So I'm clicking back now to that discovery map that you will recognize to hopefully just remind myself what were those key discoveries that came out of that discussion and what did I learn and what do I need to be building in to my account management plan for this particular client. Once more, we've used some of the other functionality, including the notes to capture key information about this particular point of contact. We've got some information about the project preparation and the administration, including numerous tasks now with different completion levels, more of those links to other documents, and really sort of simple stuff like sending invoices with those other icons like the exclamation mark that maybe just highlights that something needs particular attention. So when you bring all of this together and zoom out a little bit, you start to get a sense of both the big picture view, so which accounts are most important on the current accounts and which potential customers are most important on the prospect. So we give ourselves this macro level view, but as you've seen, if we drill down into any one of these uh, clients or prospects, we start to get down to really tangible next steps and actions. That's that micro view connection with the macro view, all in one simple visual summary.
What's more, if we're using mind mapping software like Mind Manager, we've got another uh, powerful function at our disposal here, which is to start using the filtering capabilities of the tools. So by using these priority markers and assigning names and dates to information within my dashboard map, I can then start to really leverage some of the power of the software to, for example, show me all of the tasks that are due this week. And if I click that, it's going to filter out all of that information to just show me those three tasks. A very powerful way when you're managing multiple accounts, multiple prospects, just lots of projects in general, to zone in on the key information when you need it. And once more, you've got to remember that once we've identified those key uh, projects and actions, all of the essential information we need will hopefully be right there at our fingertips, links to key documents, date information, notes, etc., etc. If I remove that filter and just zoom out on this map in its entirety, you can see there's a lot of information here, but once again, using those filtering functions, I could come in and say, please show me every task that has been assigned to Liam. And once again, the software can just reduce all of that information down to the key tasks and actions that have got my name attached to it, or perhaps somebody else's name attached to it, depending on what filtering criteria I've asked for. So loads of different ways that we can use that filtering function within the software to really narrow our focus on the areas we need to give attention. But a simple account management dashboard view like this is a really fantastic way of keeping control of that big picture, the multiple accounts you manage, and also ensure you are chipping away every day at those smaller micro tasks that keep the whole thing moving.